Hi Leo, how's it going? My name is Jacqueline. Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is gonna be your mid-July general reading, again for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new, hello and welcome. Everyone, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Leo, as we always do, we'll be doing an extended version of this reading where we're gonna take a look at your partner, your soulmate, y'all's connection, how they feel about you, mutual energy, potential outcome, kind of of y'all's love story so all of that information the link for that is in the description box below if you're also looking for a personal reading or want to connect with me over on instagram everything you need to know to connect with me find me um, links for ex uh, extended readings all of that again is in the description box below all right leo so i'm gonna kind of just go with the flow um this time i got two new decks i've been working with and um i really have been enjoying using them so this one's called the good tarot so i'm gonna pull a couple of cards from this one at um, at the beginning just to kind of get the vibe of what's going on and then we'll go a lot deeper and clarify with this one this one's called the modern spellcasters modern spellcasters deck so both really cool new decks that i got and i've been dying to use them so we are just going to go with the flow I'm not gonna do the spread that I've kind of been doing. I'm gonna do a couple elements of it, kind of uh, to get a couple of the, the basic things out there, but everything else we're just kind of feeling very intuitive and we're just gonna, we're just gonna jump in. <laughs> all right, Leo, so I hope all of y'all are doing well. Happy early birthday. We're almost, almost, almost to your season. Um, so yay, super excited. Happy early birthday to all my Leo gang out there. Three more shuffles. Spirit, what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-July 2019? Nice. All right, Leo, nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, nine of fire. So your energy, your element here, fire, passion. Um, and then nine of wands represents past life energy. So for some of you, you are connecting with someone. Um, it could be a partner, soulmate, mother, um, uh, mother, father, parent, child relationship. I don't know why I said mother, father, but, um, you know, parent, child relationship um, could be that as well that I'm feeling here. But you know, overall, Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. I do feel the energy, Leo, like you still are hanging on a little bit to um, just some, uh, a little bit of a burden, things that people have put upon you. Um, so you're a little bit guarded right now. I think there's a lot of beautiful and exciting things coming to you right now, but I do feel an essence of you are a little bit reserved. You are a little bit guarded, especially over your heart right now. We do have a lot of energies, a lot of uh, planets in retrograde, Mercury is in retrograde, my speech is going to get weird. Um, you know, also we have a full moon actually tonight in Capricorn with another eclipse. So there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of intense energies. Things are kind of swimming around. There's tea spilling around a little bit. People usually with these retrogrades, especially in cancer season, it's about the past. So the past does try to um, kind of sneak up in different ways. Um, and I think that you already know that. I think you've already experienced some of those things and you're just like, all right, that's cool. I, I'm willing to look at things, but only from a perspective on the outside. Like you're like, I'm not going to just jump into anything right now. Okay. All right, Leo. So that was just a part of your theme. Let's get your current energy out. Two nines. Beautiful. Nine of Earth. Nine of Pentacles. Independent. Yes. So, Leo, uh, with this energy, even though it's Earth energy, ooh, and the Eight of Pentacles there, too. So, you definitely have been putting a lot of effort and energy into you, which is beautiful, um, looking good, really. I feel like a lot of you are going through, like, a makeover process, like, maybe getting a new wardrobe, um, purchasing new things, maybe for the home as well, um, getting healthy, getting organized, and also just 
just been you're you're very very good with your resources with your finances are looking great right now you've been saving up you've also been very diligent about like paying off bills getting caught up on that kind of stuff too like all of your money resources earthly possessions everything is kind of um, like all of your boxes are getting checked off it's like y'all are getting very organized and even making lists and you're like okay clean the house check paid this bill check okay did this check you know so very very good very independent energy um, you're very strong and you're very very good on your own now whether you're with someone or not I'm not saying like if you're in a relationship you're looking to be single this is just you right now you're so solid and trusting within yourself maybe not with other people around you so much but definitely you're in a phase where you're just like wow look at me I feel good um, and you have no shame in your game I love it Leo beautiful beautiful energy to start all right, let's see what's coming towards you. Again, this is for mid-July. Spirit, what is coming towards Leo that they need to be aware of? Mid-July 2019. Mm -hmm, lover's card. It's called the love card in this deck. There's a glare. Come on. There we go. Maybe you can see it better. Um, but this is the lover's card, number six in the major arcana. I will say this number, the six of wands was coming up in your pre-shuffle um, kind of a lot. It was kind of at the bottom of the deck a lot. So I do feel an, uh, an, uh, an element of success here, of victory. The number six is about divine love, accomplishment, okay? The... Oh, we got it through the, through the difficult time and we're on the other side. We took that leap. We took that, um, that jump. We took, you know, we had to trust and we went into it, right? So for a lot of you, you like I said at the beginning, Nine of Pentacles, you're good, boo. You're good on your own. You're strong. You're tough. You're you're making your own money. You got your own house, own car, all of that. <laughs> What's that song? Um, anyways, but you've got all the things. Like you you really don't need, for, uh, need for, for much right now. And because of that, because you've really built yourself up, you're either calling in a divine love, could be, um, this is card of Gemini, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, um, but regardless, this is about either new love coming in for a lot of you, or if you're already with someone, um, there's a renewed sense of love here. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And we're gonna go in, and I'm definitely gonna clarify these cards a little bit deeper. Just kinda wanna get the, the basis of what's going on. I knew something like that was coming up for y'all. I just knew it. Mm-hmm. All right, next card out is the page of uh, page of fire, page of wands, your energy. Some of you could have, um, this could be talking about a child um, that you have, but overall, this is, you know, representing fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius this is obviously your energy I feel like this coming after the lovers card is you are in a new love in a new relationship of some sort could be a new friend a new co-worker if, if those of you that are already committed you'll obviously know how this resonates because um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you as these are general readings um, but Leo you, this is very strong you're very vibrant you feel very confident with the page of wands page of wands to me is very um sexual energy very hands-on um type of energy so i feel like you are in a new type of connection relationship lots of probably hooking up or getting together even just dinner or romance uh, uh rom romanticizing each other that sort of thing very very beautiful um love 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 that seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this is someone or this is a connection even if it's not the particular person that you've been wanting um this is the connection that you've been wanting you're like i it's almost like you you're you're letting spirit take over like let go and let god in regards to your love life and now you're starting to see like oh my gosh like i didn't know who this person was going to be but now that they're right here in my face i'm like i can't believe it like y'all are just very shocked surprised i'm hearing like you feel honored to be with this person um beautiful 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 some of y'all could be dealing um like I said, we have Gemini on the table. We have Earth, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, and we also have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
I mean, this is gorgeous. We have the world card, another, another major arcana. You're entering in a whole other world, a new phase. Um, I feel like you've already shut the door a while ago because the world card is about out with the old and with the new, closing one door in our life so that something else can open up so that another opportunity can be available to take. And Leo, you've already closed the other door of, I feel like y'all were dealing with some really toxic energies these last couple of months um, and even a couple weeks. But I feel like it was a little, kind of a while ago. You've been healing, 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 regaining your confidence, regaining your strength, coming back to you, refocusing on the self, which, which is so healthy and powerful and exactly what you have needed and now you're getting this divine love you feel excited about this person and it's changing your world it is changing your world this is your new opportunity your new door your new window um this is your new life but you're this is a spiritual connection because the world card is number 21 two and one is three which talks about divine spirit um this is someone destined also the person you're dealing with you feel very comfortable with them whereas normally you wouldn't be so open at the beginning you would maybe still be a little bit reserved but I feel like you're like able to easily express yourself and be your natural raw um, self with this person all right Some of the cards got flipped upside down. That was kind of weird. Um, but the last card that we have out for this group is the Seven of Fire, Seven of Wands, more fire energy. And bottom of the deck is the car star card, card of Aquarius. Um, I'm also noticing one and seven is eight. So I do feel like in August in your month, like you'll come into like full resonance. Like there's going to be like a big, like, um, I'm seeing like just fireworks basically. Like I'm almost seeing in this, like this almost to me at a quick glance looks like fireworks. Like you're gonna be somewhere where there's fireworks or you're gonna feel the energy around this person like when y'all, um, you know, touch each other or kiss or just connect in any way. It's just like phew, fireworks are going off. Um, the person and, and whatever phase that you're in right now, Leo, whatever this person, whoever this person is, this opportunity. And, and the lover's card, again, it doesn't have to mean um, romantic love, like I said, for some of you, it could be about um, a job opportunity, a business partner, a, you know, a situation, a divine counterpart in some type of way is what you're dealing with. And again, this was written in the stars for you, card of Aquarius. But again, one in seven, I do feel the element of the number eight, the month eight, the month August, your month for most of you. Um, is when we're going to see like the highlight. We're going to see when everything just kind of explodes and really fuses and comes together. So let's talk about this last card real quick and we'll clarify these two. Seven of Wands is a little bit defensive. You still feel a little bit, um, you're protecting. You're, you're protecting this energy. You're protecting this person or you're protecting this situation. Okay, it's almost like it's, it's, it's almost, um, what am I hearing? Too good to be true. But it is true. It's not that it's too good to be true, but you also are just like, well, if I start talking about it and telling all my friends and telling my family or who this connect, who I'm connecting with or who I'm dealing with, you know, it's like, I'm just gonna, they're, I'm just gonna get all these dang opinions about everyone. Lovers just fell out again. <laughs> it's like, you don't want to hear it. It's like, you don't want to deal with other people's crap, other people's opinions. Um, and you're not really one to deal with that anyway. It's like, you're not afraid of confrontation. Leo, for the most part, um, like you'll, you'll handle it. You'll handle it. That is for sure. But uh, I feel like right now it's almost an avoidance of like, you're willing to fight for this if you have to. Um, but it's almost like you're kind of like keeping secret about it. It's like you're, you're gliding, you're gliding through the night. I don't know what that means for some of you. You're gliding in the night. You're just, it's smooth sailing. You're also like avoiding confrontation with some people who could have an opinion about this, but again, your your connection with this other situation or other person is so strong. You're like, I don't give a, a flying F about that. <laughs> I don't care what you say, I'm doing this. And you will, because you're already doing it. You're already doing it. You're already with this person, or you're already, you're, you've already met this person or are about to meet this person. All right, Spirit, please clarify these messages. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
for mid-July. Two more shuffles. Spirit, please clarify these messages for Leo and anything else that we need to know for Leo for mid-July. The star card is about keeping keeping the faith, keeping the hope, keeping it, keeping that alive. Okay, which is what you've done. It's like you knew something better was on the way. But with all the pain and all the crap and all the drama and the, 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 the shit that you just went through. It's done. It's over with. You're building yourself back up. And you're like, it's almost like for some of you, if you left a toxic relationship, for example. Or you maybe you had several. And you're just like, no. Like, I don't want to deal with that type of person anymore. Like, I'm tired of dealing with you know, drama or people I have to feel like I have to fix or, you know, just people who are just not meant for you. Are they bad people? No, but they're just on a different journey, right? Like everyone, we're just on our own, on our own path, on our own journey. So it's almost like you had to go through that, go through the heartbreak, go through the releasing, getting all that stuff done. And now this new person or this new situation that is divine and that's making you feel like a kid again this person or this situation is giving you literal life with the page of wands it's so special that this is something that was supposed to happen to you with the star card is what i'm saying it's like your angels and your guides um you know divine spirit has really really brought all of this together for you so that is a beautiful feeling all right, I'm not going to clarify your nine of pentacles because I really got that as like you're independent, very, very strong. It's like you just just being a boss, basically. Um, but I do want to look at your lover's card, um, card of Gemini. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, but more so it's about you and somebody else. And look, she's got a lion here too. Again, uh, Leo, right? August. It's like, it's like for some of you, if you haven't met this person, I feel like, again, you're going to, this is like the energy is leading up to the big arrival, <laughs> the big reveal, the something, the fireworks moment. All right, spirit, please clarify the lover's card with the sun card. This person makes you so happy. This is the happiest, most abundant loving <laughs> thriving card that you could possibly have um bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles this is someone that is solid they want to build a life with you they want to see you succeed they've got your back they're on your side this is a good person a good match a great match for you leo gorgeous on the lover's card we got the sun card i mean come on that's great hi mama what's she doing that's mala Hi, baby. You saying hi to Leo? Hello. Hello. You're just out of frame, but that's okay. All right, let's look at this page of, um, sorry about that, y'all. I know some of y'all like to see the dogs. Chino, Chino's back here somewhere. He's asleep. They're always asleep right behind me. All right, let's look at your page of wands. <laughs> the devil card. card come, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like y'all are just like, oh what did we just get into like this is the it's like it's almost like the devil energy is like y'all are just so addicted to each other y'all are addicted to each other's love to each other's energy so just be careful try not to maybe spend all of your time with this person because we do want to remain um strong independent like don't forget this part of you but i feel like y'all are just going in deep here all right you're madly madly passionate for this person or for this situation okay um i kind of like that though i feel like this is a very intense intense connection uh let's look at the world card all right we got three so the world card out with the old in with the new what's the old what are we releasing the three cups we're, and, and, and we're taking on the two cups. This is the transition. This is the releasing. Also, again, I don't know if I mentioned this. We do have a full moon. Um, if you're catching this when the day I upload or a couple days after, uh, full moons are great for releasing. So it's a good time to let go of your exes. Let go of that fear. Let go of just all of that side emotion. Okay. This is this person's holding the two of cups and just letting the other three bleed out. 
okay? I know that seems kind of uh, harsh, but it is what it is. Star card again, some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius, but more so this is about your destiny. This person is on your path. Y'all are being aligned. And with the world card, you got the beautiful Ace of Wands, your element, fire, passionate, new beginning. I love, 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 love it. This is like your dreams coming to life, your dreams coming to fruition, but like tenfold, a thousandfold. Like this is like bigger than you could have ever expected. It's almost like you never, it's like you're like, I've always known that this feeling or this person or this chance would be here. I just didn't know when and now it's here and it's just like whoosh, right in your, it's right here. It's right, it's right here. It's very in the now. Wow. Okay. Let's look at your seven of wands. This is that um, kind of on the defense, kind of avoiding some people, avoiding some energies, avoiding some opinions. There you are. King of wands, Leo energy, back it up, burr, burr, burr. back it up. You're like, I don't want to hear it. 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 Four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You are protecting your home. You're protecting this situation to your highest power. Your masculine, whether you're male or female, your masculine energy is just like, uh-uh. You're going to have something to say about this. I don't want to hear it. You can come back next week and try to talk to me, but there's nothing's getting in between Leo and this, and this love or this situation, okay? Beautiful. I want to clarify the star card. With the full, beautiful, taking that leap of faith, taking that leap of faith, jumping in, trusting, trusting, letting go and letting God. Seriously, seriously. It's almost like y'all almost had lost faith a little bit for some of you. And it's like, you're like, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> My voice cracked. You're like, I don't even care anymore. Like if, if I find someone new or not, and then pff, it's just, it's here. All right, we also, I'm just free shuffling just to get any any more messages that want to come out. Eight of Wands, beautiful, with the Six of Pentacles. This person is bringing balance into your life. There's a good ebb and flow. Whatever it is that you tell this person, the energy you put into this person or this new job or this, this situation that is literally the happiest thing in your life, okay? Whatever that is, it's like whatever you give to that person or that situation, you get it equally uh <laughs> received back to you sorry mercury retrograde and with this eight of wands that fire energy quick communication y'all are like the more time you spend together it's just like more passion more communication more texting more calling more setting up plans and just it's like y'all are getting love struck by not one wand but eight wands <laughs> Y'all are so in love. I love it. Bottom of the deck for the, for this group is the Justice card, card of Libra. This is karmically correct. This is balancing out karma. This is what was supposed to come to you. It's what's fair. It's what's right. It's what's just. It's yours. It's yours. Just go get it. All right, Leo, I love this reading for you so, so much. We're um, definitely going to jump right now into the extended, and we're going to look at this other person, how they feel about you, mutual energy, potential outcome, all the other stuff. So if you're interested, the link is just below in the description box. I hope to see you there. If this is where we part, Leo, thank you so much for your continued support. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'm sending y'all all my love, all my gratitude for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, all the beautiful comments, everything. I really, truly appreciate you. And I will see y'all soon.